Scientists have found that the Yellowstone supervolcano heat source is coming from the ancient Phaleron plate subduction from the west coast, and that is what has caused the progression of the eruptions from 30 million years ago. We see the mantle plume formation here with these images, and they stretch from Ridgecrest, from Baja, and uh, go under Yellowstone. And this is the location of the Phaleron plate today. As you can see, it's all the way from the west coast, lodged underneath the uh, continental United States. Phaleron plate information, the software model by NASA of the remnants of the Phaleron plate deep in Earth's mantle. And the region of the modern Cascadia subduction zone All right, Juan de Fuca plate, the Pacific plate, and the North American plate, and all our high threat volcanoes, of course. December 2004, magnitude 9 Sumatra island earthquake rupture zone is comparable to the size of the Cascadia subduction zone. That's what kind, the kind of earthquake that these uh, areas can give. Okay, so going back to the Phaleron plate, it was an ancient, and here we see the progression progression from 30 million years ago. It was um, an ancient oceanic plate that began subducting under the west coast of the North American plate, then located in modern Utah, as Pangaea broke apart during the Jurassic period. Remember Pangaea, the whole landmass was one. The supercontinent, as we call it, that existed during the late Paleozoic and early Mesozoic. Okay, that was about uh, uh, a quarter of a billion years ago. Half a billion to a quarter billion years ago. It's assembled from earlier continents until approximately 335 million years ago and began to break up about 175 million years ago in contrast to the present Earth. Okay, and uh, Pangaea was centered on the equator, as we see, surrounded by super ocean Pan Thalassa. Thalassa means sea in Greek. Pangaea is the most recent supercontinent to have existed, and the first to be the first to be reconstructed by geologists. Okay, but this is uh, from that time. Utah Pangaea broke up. Its name. It's named for the Phaleron Islands, which are located just west of San Francisco, California. And over time, the central part of the Phaleron Plate was completely subducted under the southwestern part of North American Plate. The remains of the Phaleron Plate are the Juan de Fuca Plate. That's the edge part of it. That's it right there, and it's now today this. So that's part of that plate from 30 million years ago, and this here. That's the area that started moving uh, with the Yellowstone supervolcanoes eruption. Now, over time, the Phaleron Plate completely subducted under the southwestern part of the North American Plate. The remnants are Juan de Fuca, Explorer, and Gorda, Gorda Plates subducting under the North American part of the North American Plate. The Calcos Plate under the Central America, and the Nazca Plate subducted under the South American Plate. Okay, so that whole, the whole area of uh, uh, the West Coast, basically, on the Ring of Fire. The Phaleron Plate is also responsible for transporting an, an old island arcs and the various fragments of the continental crust material rifted off from other distant plates and accreting them to the North America Plate. These are the island arcs. Taiwan, let's see, the other side, it's uh, basically on the west side of the Pacific Ring of Fire. And um, it transported those, uh, the island arcs, various fragments, continental crust, layer of igneous sedimentary metamorphic rocks forming the continents and the areas of shallow seabed close to the shores known as continental shells. These fragments from elsewhere are called terrains or exotic terrains, fragments of crustal material formed broken off from one tectonic plate accreted or sutured to crust lying on the other side of the plate 
the crustal block or fragment preserves its own geologic history. So much of the western of North America is composed of these accreted terrains. The understanding of the Falloran plate is rapidly evolving as details from seismic tomography, as we had recently, showing us that that's what's lodged underneath Yellowstone, provide improved details of the submerged remnants. Since the North America West Coast shows a convoluted structure, significant work has been required to resolve the complexity. In 2013, a new and more nuanced explanation emerged, proposing two additional now subducted plates, which would account for some of the complexity. Now, the uh, Falloran plates subducting forms the North American cordillera, the mountains, that is, and the volcanoes. As of 2013, it's generally accepted that the western quarter of North America consists of the terrain accumulated over the past 200 million years as a result of the ocean oceanic Falloran plate moving into the continental, onto the continental margin. And as it subducts under the continent, but this simple model was unable to explain many terrain complexities and is inconsistent with the seismic tomographic images. Okay, of subducting slabs penetrating the lower mantle. In April 2013, Sigluk and Malhalinuk noted that under North America, the subduction slabs form massive, essentially vertical walls of vertical walls, vertical walls of 800 kilometers to 2,000 kilometers deep and 40 to six, 400 to 600 kilometers wide, forming slab walls. One such slab wall runs from northwest Canada, northwest Canada, to the eastern United States and extends to Central America, where this slab had traditionally been associated with the subducting Phaleron plate. Siglo and company proposed that the Phaleron should be partitioned into north, northern Phaleron and Gayucham and Southern Phaleron segments based on recent demographic models. And under this model, the Northern American con continent overrides a series of subduction trenches and incorporates microcontinents. And here we have the timeline of this Franciscan subduction complex, and this is the most recent over the East Coast Mountain arc volcanism. Now, when the final archipelago, um, the Silesia archipelago, lodged as terrain, the ancient, the associated trench steps west to the terrain accreted, it went down, converting an intra-oceanic subduction trench into the Cascadia subduction zone, creating a slab window. So that's what went under, and that's what is causing the slab underneath is... Um, pushing the mantle and causing it to, co to go into this area towards Yellowstone. And that was why it was uh, progressing, because the slab was progressing. The slab was progressing all these millions of years. Fascinating, fascinating. That, their way, that, therefore, pushing the mantle plume, pushing the magma uh, up this way. Right. There's, there's Wyoming right there, pushing it up this way right here. So that's the Phaleron plate for us, for our knowledge. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. 
more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.